Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at reversible reactions and equilibrium in this GCSE chemistry revision episode. Um, buckle up, it's going to be forwards and backwards for the whole ride um, because we've got a lot to talk about, a lot to cover, and it can be a little bit of a tricky topic, so let's dive into it. Um, what are reversible reactions? Basically all that means is a reaction that can occur both forwards and backwards. Um, and the reactants A plus B combine to give products C plus D, but the products C plus D can combine to give the reactants A plus B. So just something that can go both ways. Um, and they balance each other. So if the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction will be endothermic. If you're not sure what those terms mean, have a listen to our uh, endothermic and exothermic um, episode. That will clear things up. Um, the key things that reversible reactions show is the conservation of energy. We can't create or destroy energy. It can only be conserved or transferred. So the energy released by the forward reaction will be exactly equal to the energy um, released or absorbed by the reverse reaction. Okay, so reversible reactions, they can proceed in both forwards and backwards directions. Um, and a quick review, endothermic reaction, that transfers energy from the environment to the reactants. Exothermic transfer energy from the reactants to the environment. Okay, so next up we need to go over a few key terms. So equilibriums are described as dynamic, okay, um, and in a closed system. So a closed system basically means reactants and products can either be added or removed, okay? So that it's very exclusive. Everyone wants to be in a closed system, okay? Um, and dynamic equilibrium is when the rates of the forward reaction equals the rates of the backwards reaction. It's dynamic because the forward and backwards are taking place at the same time. Um, and the concentration of reactants and products don't change when we're at dynamic equilibrium. So even though the forward and reverse reactions are still occurring, the concentration doesn't change. So as soon as the products are made, they break up again, okay? Um, so just to recap that, at equilibrium, both forward and reactions still happen, but the concentration of reactants and products remain constant. Therefore, we describe the equilibrium as dynamic. Dynamic, it's still moving, even though the concentrations remain the same, okay? Um, and to recap again, reversible reactions can proceed in both forwards and backwards directions. Do we remember what happens to energy during chemical reactions? Do we make it? Do we break it? Nah, we conserve it, okay? Um, next, we need to talk about the conditions in equilibrium. If we change the conditions of a chemical reaction, um, we also change the position of the equilibrium, okay? So this process is called Le Chatelier's Principle. And basically it states that if any one of the conditions of a reversible reaction at equilibrium are changed, the system will change to oppose that change, okay? So basically, equilibriums don't like change. So they're like, if you, if you add something or you try and change something, it's gonna be like, uh-uh, I don't want this, and it's gonna change it back, okay? And basically, we use Le Chatelier's principle to predict the outcome of any change imposed on a system or equilibrium, okay? Um, let's do a quick question to recap that. Um, Le Chatelier's principle is used to predict the outcome of any changes imposed on a closed system at equilibrium. So it's a closed system at equilibrium. Um, and to define it fully, the principle states that if any of the conditions of a reversible reaction at, uh, at equilibrium are changed, the system will shift to counteract that change. Okay, so that brings us to the end of reversible reactions in equilibrium. Um, in a subsequent episode, um, I'll be talking about uh, equilibrium position, um, which is also very important, so make sure you check that out. I hope this lesson has been useful, and hopefully uh, he, I will see you in the next installment. Cheers.